You, I mean, what a thrilling uh, 10 minutes. It had everything. I, we're so happy we're that so you're happy here. You're back. It yeah. had it feels everything. Good. Yeah. And, and the realization, once again, the fragility of this planet, yes, the yeah. coming uh, catastrophic event, and we all have to clean this act up now. Well yeah. said. Yeah. And, and the realization, once again, the fragility of this planet, yes, the yeah. coming uh, catastrophic event, and we all have to clean this act up now. Well said. The fragility of this planet, yes, the yeah. coming uh, catastrophic event, give this planet yes, the yeah. coming uh, catastrophic event again. The fragility of this planet, yes, the yeah. coming uh, catastrophic event uh there's a picture that i'm trying to find dex here uh let's see okay so i wonder yeah, if we need to show the the video william, clip. Sh william shatner yeah it's in screener so okay we talked about Prince. and that, that's a timestamp link it should take you right to the spot where he says it. okay good because we're not going to Okay, here we go. Good. Yeah. And, and the realization once again, the fragility of this planet, yes, the yeah. coming uh, catastrophic event, and we all have to clean this act up now. I hope you were listening because I'm only going to play this uh, one more second here. Let me see. Everything. Yeah. And, and the realization once again, the fragility of this planet, yes, the yeah. coming uh, catastrophic event, and we all have to clean this act up now. So there you have it, William Shatner. What do you think? What do you? I actually almost, you know, uh, I love that you did that. This was uh, Dex did a short. Make sure to go over to Dex's channel. He did a short of this on his. Um, again, some of the stuff that we won't put here will end up, you know, Dex will end up doing over there. The reason we wouldn't do it is because of copyright, right? If, to do that as a full short. A lot of shorts are getting hit because a lot of people are posting that that vid. That is freaky to me. I am sorry, but that is flipping freaky. Okay. It seems like he made a slip there. It seems to me like he just kind of blurted out. Now, remember, he was just in uh, the SpaceX capsule or the Blue Origin. I'm sorry, Jeff with Jeff Bezos uh, went up to space a couple days back. And we know for a fact he had to meet Jeff Bezos. Like, <clears throat> and you don't get on there and not like be a pal with Jeff Bezos, right? So, you know, not that Jeff Bezos is the be all end all, but at the end of the day, like these people who are very high up, they know some stuff and they probably, you know, have their circles and they talk. But, you know, you know, could he be talking of, you know, just in generalities about, you know, I don't know climate or something else right maybe or like you said did he slip up did he act because he used the word event like as if something is happening like something specific is coming and that's what got me wondering and other people wondering i'm not the first to find this it's been talked about on on the net but i just thought it was a really good question well and when you see somebody like jeff bezos like you said it's like uh jeff bezos all of a sudden he's just going so hard on getting up to space and he is fighting tooth and nail to be a part of this space future because I think he knows that it is our only future. Like, it's really, I mean, look at the fight he's having with Elon. It's like two forces of, of, uh, of that. And by the way, catastrophic event, catastrophic by definition is weather related. Um, which includes all sorts of uh, the things underneath that, but flooding, uh, tornado. If you actually look, it's like eight different events are considered uh, the word catastrophic. Uh, it's the definition of catastrophic event is an event uh, nature related, right? But the and wouldn't a meteor fall into that category? Yep. Too? Yeah, it, uh, I was looking at the all the things that were by you know by the actual official definition of it. 
So what is kind? Of, and look at his face when he's doing it. It just doesn't and seem was, right. Yeah, and it was just yesterday we were talking about was it uh, William right? Because he, he was slamming the whole space race specifically. And I think Joseph was talking about that too, but he was talking about it from a different angle. But one of the things William said was, you know, every, we know they're trying to get off the planet. So, and, and that was that a slip or not either, but those are two different, those are two specific things, two people that have made these statements that seem like they're coming from a conversation that we don't know about. And like in the last two days, like they just found out about it. Like they were just filled in. It, it, do you know what I mean? Why in the last two days, all of a sudden, you have this opinion? Like, like they were in on a conversation, and they're you know, they're not people that will just shut up. They want they want to talk about it, but of course they know they can't. They they're keeping it a secret, but they're not. Like they're they're just going. Oh, well, I disagree with this. We need to fix this. I I don't want to go to space. Ilea says he's talking about irreversible climate change. We're close to the point of no return. So technically, I I do have some videos I should show you, but technically we have already passed that the 500 days of cli uh, uh, climate chaos. He's saying an event. He's not saying, you know, catastrophic future, fix this, blah, 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 before, because we can't. Especially if you look at some of their data. And if you're saying, it, you know, if people call me fear porn, the accepted narrative is that we're in this uh, this situation where everything is about to go down the hill. If you look at some of the documentaries they've put out recently, they're saying by 2100, this is going to be like a horrific world. And we're talking about in our lifetime, just in the next 20 years. I mean, look at what they're actually saying. They're saying that you will uh, you will be limited to one steak or eight ounces of meat, whatever that meat is, a hamburger, one hamburger per month by 2030. That's not like some 50 years from now. That's in that's in nine years. Nine years goes like this. You're talking about no lawnmowers, no gas powered engines. It's banned, banned, banned. They're making serious moves based on on this, right? And here's where I th think about Ilea. I, I love different viewpoints, but what scares me is that uh, the same people that will not let things being said, especially about the the J and the A and the B, the same people that say you cannot talk about it, they're deleting videos saying it, all this and that. They're also now deleting, and they announce it. They're deleting everything related if you if you uh, go against the view of what you're saying right whatever you can't talk about that's usually what the truth is or there's something in there that's really bad it seems to me like there was a conversation that was just held um around all of these bio trainings and all these bio drills it freaks me out uh dex uh, Paul, did we get Paul or did did he end yeah, up? Yeah, we got him and he dropped, but I'm, got, I'm getting him back. Hang on. Okay. Let's get Paul on the phone. And then, Lucas, you are live on Marfugal News. What's going on? Hey, how are you? Doing fantastic. So what are we talking about tonight? So um, I just, with everything going on, and I, I'm just saying I'm a longtime listener. I love the show. I, I really appreciate what you guys are doing. Um, so... I guess back when everything started to get haywire, um, and I don't, I'm not going to go into detail, and I think you can kind of guess the year and when things started to get funny, I noticed that a lot of CEOs and people were stepping down, um, and it kind of me to, prompted me to do some research and I, as I was like just a little curious. Um, so I started doing research, and I, I, I listened to some of the people that I know that you've talked to um, on other channels and some of the things that they've echoed. Um, so I found this really interesting. So um, I know you know Steve Benoon. Um, you listened to his. I know you you had him on, and you guys did like a little um, a show before. And the things that he talked about on his show, and I know that he did make some comments about things in um, November and December, perhaps. So and some of the other um, there's another inbound object, I guess I could say that 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 people have mentioned that's coming in. So 
I started doing some research um, and I found this book that's called Herculobus or Red Planet. And it, 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 it's an older book, came out um, probably, you know, 30 plus years ago. And it and it talked about what the what the planet would look like as this um, as this thing came in closer to our orbit. Um, and some interesting things that I saw were uh, that there would be um, insects that would be coming out of the ground as the as the Earth's core would be heating up. And and, and I and I and I was like, okay, so this got my attention because you know um, all the locusts and stuff that were in the Middle East the last couple of years were some of the worst that they'd ever seen. So that really caught my attention. And then it talked about, like, as we moved closer, that there would be um, debris and there would be um, an increase in um, volcanoes and earthquakes, um, especially, like, um, basaltic lava flows. Um, and as those things started happening, and I'm looking around now and I feel those things happening, and it just makes me wonder that, and now with, with everything that's going on with the Shatner quote and everything like that and the space race, it makes you wonder that, okay, these guys obviously know something. There's obviously something coming. I don't think they can hide that anymore. Um, so it just makes you wonder if there's actually some weight to all this. Well, uh, and well, like they say, if there, uh, if there really is irreversible uh, climate thing, I guess the more of the debate is not that it's not happening. It's if it's made by human or if it's something natural that we won't be able to survive in either way, who knows, maybe we need, just need to get off the planet. Right. Uh, or for a little bit until like it fixes it, right? itself. I don't, maybe what if they found out, let me just hypothetically, what if they found out that they had to get rid of 7 billion of us temporarily for a hundred years and then they could start over and everything would be good. Do you think, how would they go about that? What if they knew, what if they were actually given the choice? Like, what if scientists said, hey, we need to get rid of, you know, 90% of the population or we'll, and we'll have uh, 25 years left until it's unlivable for humans um, or we take out this many people and we'll be fine. What, what do you think I, they would I do? I think you're starting... I think you're starting to see it now with a word, a words, a things that I can't really say on the air, but I think you know what I'm talking about. Um, I think if they start that, they go around and they gather the low hanging fruit first. And I think they've, I think they've started kind of successfully in a sense done that over the last couple of years. Um, and I think that um, what, what, what they're trying to do now, I think would, would essentially be the second phase of that, which is interesting if you think about that, because, um, why they're pushing, pushing so hard to do that. Um, and then, you know, moving forward, what else would happen or how would they move forward? I, I, I honestly think that you're starting to see that happening now. I, I mean, it's, it, it's as scary as it is. I mean, you can't deny the fact that, and, and a lot of people know that there's something going on. Like you could just feel it in the air. Right. Um, I mean, I'm a Bible believing Christian. I mean, I have my Bible in front of me. And even if you just read Matthew 24, I mean, I, I think that there's a, a, a hidden agenda here. I think that there's a, a power that be, um, and I think some people know what I'm alluding to. And I think that these people know biblical events and whether they're trying to push that and, and bring this and, and get rid of the people and, and the people that are left will be more controllable for their system that I think that they're trying to push. And I think that, you know, I started connecting dots, right? And it, everything, it seems like everything's connected to, to one another, right? Like everything that people are saying and doing and, and what's going on on the planet right now, I think, it, I think everything's connected. I, 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 don't, I don't think that, that you can deny that at this point. Do you, I mean, do you, what, what are your thoughts on that? I, I think that the, it, okay, so what you just said if you tell somebody that, do you feel like they're going to look at you like you're crazy? I think, yes, I do. And I think that's part of, but do you <laughs> feel part of what's going on? Let I me think. ask you this though. Do you feel like it's, it's common sense what you're thinking? Like you, and if everybody should be able to see this, like uh, everybody okay, should be so able to see what you're seeing right now. Do you, do you think that it's so like Bible, kindergarten level, like look at the obvious signs? Do you feel that way? That's a hard question because I feel like it has, I think it's, I, I think it's a, a, 
uh, it's a tough answer because the Bible says that in the last days that the that 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 only the people that that understand the Bible will understand what's going on, and nobody else will, right? So I think that that, that kind of has a, a role to play, a big role, because I look I look at everything biblically just because I'm a Christian. So that that's definitely like probably my first and foremost thought. But I, I don't think they want people to think like how I think and how you think and how a lot of your viewers probably think. I mean, that's why we're here, right? Because there's a community of us who all see these things and that we can only talk to each other about it because everybody else is going to think we're crazy. And I think that's, that's part of the plan. Or, or uh, just get rid of it or delete it or, or put something out that says it's not right, even though the thing that debunks it doesn't actually say anything. It's it, have you exactly. have you noticed how how many debunks don't actually have proof that they're debunking something? It just well, says, right, yeah. The fact checkers are journalists. We shouldn't be listening to journalists. We should be listening to science. But <laughs> the real science is the, the science that they only want to fact check, and it's just it's frustrating. It really is. I I agree with you. Right. And I, I feel that way every day. I I feel like it's pretty obvious that something is going down right now. Uh, way beyond what anyone would believe is happening because it is so massive that, you know, it's like nobody in their right mind. It it, it, it feels crazy believing the, some of the things I believe because it's like, how could a scandal be this big? How could, or if no. it's not a scandal, maybe it's because they don't value us that we're the dirt on their shoe and we have, they have to get rid of it because they're going to they're going to be heroes. They're going to fix the the rest of, of the world for everybody else. But again, right. 99% of us What if that's where the 99% really came? They said, you know, we need to get rid of the 99%. Uh, I I I tend to share your sentiment and I think that at the end of the day, like I said, if you just like if you look just look at the earth like the earth is, I mean, in my opinion, it, it, look what everything that's going on. The earth is, I mean, you can look at the earth and see that something's not right, right? There is something approaching, whether that's this month or next month or December. Um, from from what I understand, and I, I, I have people that are in certain, um, I, have, I have some friends that are super high ranking, but I have friends that are in certain aspects of the government and i from what i understand it and from other people that i've listened to that they do have the ability to nudge these things and move them um and i've heard echoed and i know that you know uh, you know you, you know steve and from what i heard i can confirm what he knows too that they they have been unsuccessful in doing that yeah. and i there's I no stopping that, it and and they, they think, just I, did I, yeah, an evacuation they drill. be able to do it for a time but it, not going to be able to ha yeah they're not going to be able to stop at all from what i understand and it, it it's what's coming in from behind the sun that's causing a lot of these earth changes and if you look at it and if you look at history and with the with with ancient egypt and the plagues of egypt it aligns perfectly what they saw then with the locusts and all it all lines up to what's happening now i mean you just can't you can't deny the signs and that's just on a that's just on a geographical level. I mean, you're seeing, you're seeing, um, you know, shield volcanoes erupting. You're seeing your classic strata volcanoes and your Plinian eruptions and 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 magmatic movement all over the planet and basaltic lava flows popping up all over the planet. I mean, there's no there's no denying that 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 something's causing it, right? And that that's just a side. That's not even going into the issues that we have with other countries and, and war. And then if you add on top of that, the economic things that are going on i mean i mean this is a multifaceted thing that's going on right now like you you almost every every stage of this or every you know idea of this planet there's something wrong there's something going on and I, it's just it's just crazy because like it's like you, you were alluding to the fact that you know these people are like we can't talk to anybody about this like I have friends in, in, in Long Island right now, and, and, and I like I can't even talk to them about La Palma, and, and, and it's much worse than they're leading on. I can tell you that, but that they're much more worried about it than what they're leading on. There's almost no coverage on it, and that's weird. And we and, and science is an attitude of, of not believing, but it's questioning, right? And nobody's questioning what's going on, and I can't – that's just one example. I can't talk to anybody about that. They're like uh, – you know, for example – 
my mother-in-law didn't even know about it. And I'm like, it, it, it could completely wipe Long Island off the map. How don't you know that so many people have their head on the sand or their sheep and they don't want to listen to what's going on because they think that it's just going to go away eventually. And I, I try to tell people we're not going back to normal. It's my personal belief. And from the things that I've heard, things aren't going to get better. Things will continue to get worse. So, uh, you know, I guess anybody that's listening, just, prepare you know spend time with your families while you can i have a six-year-old daughter i I spend as much time with her as i can you know what i mean and i just recommend everybody to do the same and and you know we have a uh, you have a great community here and what you're doing i think is just awesome i listen to you all the time um so i do want to say thank you so much i really really do appreciate what you're doing well, you guys don't have to say thank you to you. Thank you. Thank the mods. Thank the people that come back every single night yeah, that everybody. make it an awesome place. Because that this this really is what it is. It's the environment here. It's it's the fact that you can talk about stuff like this in here and not worry that yeah. you're going to get super judged. Um, I hope. Mm-hmm. I hope. And it's really hard. Sometimes I see stuff and I'm like, why are you can't? Why are you believing that? Um, I th- I because I believe some people don't see that they have been indoctrinated beyond and i think when you start to accept that you could be and that means myself too like if there's something that's uh left or right leaning there's people that are have been indoctrinated by the right and the left uh but you know when you start opening up and saying if somebody says you're only believing that because of this then i go okay am i believing it because of something and then i have to do it myself i have to go and check and triple mm-hmm. check and jump But one thing that I see is that, uh, like you said, people's heads are in the sand and they believe if if there's actual an operation that we were talking about. So so say if there's something that they want to keep secret. Well, what they can do is they can actually expose it, put put it to the very top, show it on media. And then what 99 percent of us and they looked at the actual uh, they they tested this. So say it's a uh, UFO thing. They'll put it at the very top. They'll put out an article saying this, this, and that. When the majority of people see that, they go, oh, well, somebody's talked about it. Somebody's handling it. Uh, and then nobody asks any questions. They know that right. when you keep things completely secret and you don't talk about it and you don't cover it at all, that's when people start asking questions. So they know to release just enough information to where uh, they'll even re- release true information just a little bit so that you think that somebody else is dealing with it. Mm-hmm. When really it just keeps getting kicked mm-hmm. down the road and, and nobody's ever, nobody's actually dealing with the problem. So spot on. Yeah. Th- Absolutely. So there, the, Absolutely. I, 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 I'm afraid of like what, you know, how many people are just not understanding how fast things are changing now and they're on a different timeline than we were two years ago. It's funny you mentioned that, too, because hasn't it seemed like time has sped up, too? Well, we've actually talked about it's why. So the, it might it might be yeah, that thing I'm coming not, in. Yep. Our, our time has actually gotten faster, and our bodies might be feeling yeah. it. I think so. No, I, I think you're right, man. Yep. Thank you. Listen, I, I don't want to take up too much time. There are some other things that I think that um, I, I probably should share with you off the air. I'll email you just from the um, the email that's on the, the contact page. Um, it's just some whispers and things that I've heard. But just before I go, um, I just do got to say that that if you just look at the Bible and look what Matthew 24, you know, Luke 21, Mark 13, even if you read, read Revelation, I can tell you that if you, it's just, it's so, um, it's such a neat dynamic. It's almost spot. I mean, it is spot on exactly to what's going on. And I know you have a lot of Christians out there. And, um, if it's just, if you put your hope and faith in Christ, we know who wins in the end. Um, and I'll be praying for you and your family and Dex and, and all the moderators and everybody. Um, and again, thank you. And like I said, there's some things that I probably should share with you all fair. Um, some things I don't know if you're aware of, but I'll definitely email you if that's okay. Well, I was going to ask you, please email me right, right this second. Okay. Realization once again, the fragility of this planet, the coming uh, 
catastrophic event, and we all have to clean this act up now. Well said. And the realization once again, the fragility of this planet, yes, the yeah. coming uh, catastrophic event, yeah. and, and the realization once again, the fragility of this planet, yes, the yeah. coming uh, catastrophic event,